The uh, mission of UW Extension is to take the research that is being generated on our campuses and move it away from those campuses into places all over the state that if that research is applied can make those places better. In essence, when you drive from Illinois into Wisconsin or you drive from Minnesota into Wisconsin, you're driving onto the campus of the University of Wisconsin. UW Extension, as a part of the University of Wisconsin system, is very unique. There is no other model in higher education in America like the model we have here in Wisconsin. Because UW Extension is a collection of a number of units that really form its own institution. We have Cooperative Extension, which is our largest division because we have an office in every county in the state. We have a division called Outreach and E-Learning, um, which is the Distance Education Division, uh, offering courses online um, and the like. That division also houses Continuing Education. The third division is what we call Bambi, or <laughs> Broadcast and media innovations, and in that division is housed uh, Wisconsin Public Radio, Wisconsin Public Television, and of course, through those two entities alone, uh, we reach nearly 600,000 people in this state every single week. And then our fourth division uh, is uh, small business and manufacturing, where there we have a focus on entrepreneurship, how we can help small businesses uh, not only survive, but thrive and bring to them cutting edge techniques to enable them to do that. The Wisconsin idea is one where the research from the university uh, makes its way to every corner of the state to make the state more competitive, to improve the lives of families, and to enhance educational quality. In essence, to meet whatever need exist within that unique corner of our state. Now that is the Wisconsin idea and there's nothing else like that in the entire United States. The mission of Cooperative Extension is really helping people help themselves through uh, research-based knowledge. Uh, we work with citizens in a wide range of uh, communities of interest and it's to bring that knowledge base of the university uh, to the citizenry uh, to help solve a key issue that they have. It's called cooperative because there's a federal, state, and local partner. And cooperative extension itself is uh, uh, divided into a number of program areas. We program in agriculture and natural resources. We program in family living, uh, forage, and youth development, and in community, natural resources, and economic development. And we have uh, faculty that are on eight different campuses of the UW system, and we have uh, county faculty and staff in all 72 counties, as well as in three tribal offices. We are the closest thing to the Wisconsin idea that you can imagine, because we connect the research base of the UW system with the local citizenry through our county faculty. And those county faculty uh, build the trust-based relationships that enable us to work with communities of interest right at that local level, we listen very carefully uh, to the most pressing needs that our citizens identify, and we put knowledge to work. The entire cooperative extension system is probably like the best kept secret in Wisconsin. Uh, literally every one of the 72 counties in Wisconsin has some type of, uh, of delivery system for extension. And in that way, anybody in the entire state can tap into the entire resources of the University of Wisconsin system, which is just an unbelievable uh, type of resource to have. I'm the personal face to the university, 
everyone knows the university through football games or sporting events or that there's a campus somewhere, you know, there's a campus in Madison or there's a campus in Milwaukee. But I'm the local face, you know, I, I get around, people know who I am, and they can put a face and a name to this big, big effort called the University of Wisconsin System. CONRAD's an acronym, of course. It stands for Community, Natural Resource, and Economic Development. So I kind of call it my animal, vegetable, and mineral job because it's like, name anything in the universe that wouldn't come under community development, natural resource development, or economic development. So it's very broad. If you break CONRAD up into its three areas, in my natural resource uh, area, I work a lot with people that live on or near lakes. Uh, and I help them form lake associations, and that's a facilitation effort. It's a education effort. So when they form their lake association, then they've already gone ahead and they've solved their own issues. Um, in the economic development area, it can be anything like working with uh, people in downtown Rhinelander, where I'm based, to form a business investment district, improvement district, which allows downtown businesses to tax themselves so that they have extra resources to improve their downtown area. And then community development, we've been running a lot of uh, community forums so they can look at their own county and uh, decide what kind of assets we have as a county and what do we have as deficits and how can we improve the assets and how can we uh, do a better job of bringing resources in to eliminate some of the deficits. So I'm kind of a conduit here in Oneida County of bringing all of the university resources to the people that need them depending on the information that they need. The mission of family living educators is pretty much to respond to the needs of Wisconsin families and communities by um, providing research-based educational programs and creating healthy partnerships within the community. Basically, I see my mission as a family living educator as helping families thrive in my community or in the communities in, in Douglas County. To do this, I work with a lot of different families and individuals and couples uh, lots of different service providers, organizations, a variety of community groups, community leaders, other extension colleagues to find ways to promote and encourage family strengths. There's no such thing as a typical family living educator. Every county is different. I focus a lot of my work on financial management, on poverty awareness, on affordable housing, I do much less than another educator in another county might do in terms of parenting or caregiving skills. It really varies from what the needs are in any particular county at any given time. Probably the most important part of what I do is simply to help find ways to improve the lives of families in Douglas County. The agriculture and natural resources area within Cooperative Extension is that area that addresses the, the needs of the agriculture industry in the state, uh, working with agriculture producers, ag business people, families uh, in general, and um, we focus on, on providing technical assistance as well as outreach education uh, involving the agriculture industry as a whole, whether it be horticulture or forestry or commodity production agriculture or value-added agriculture, we cover all of those areas. Each agent in the state probably works with a little bit different population. There are some agents who work exclusively with, say, dairy or livestock, and some who work mostly with crops and soils. But as a general agent, I work with all areas of the industry. I might spend one week working with horticulturalists, master gardeners. Um, I might spend you know, some time working with ag entrepreneurs who are just developing an ag business. And I might also work with the livestock and beef producers on a project that they're working on. So it's incredibly variable depending on the location we are in the state and, and also just the issues that are present at the time. The mission is to take the technical assistance that we have available and the resources and the knowledge that we have and build the capacity of those people involved in the industry so that they can reach that state of profitability and sustainability. Four H is a youth development program that reaches out to youth and adults to provide positive opportunities for education and leadership. And it's all youth. Originally it was children on farms, farm families, and years ago it, it started out as that because it was the farm families 
because they lived in the rural communities, they weren't being reached by the university. However, we have uh, broadened our scope and it's not just about cows and cooking anymore. We teach leadership, uh, we teach our youth uh, to go on to become citizens that contribute to their communities. They do service learning projects, they do community service. The 4-H's stand for head, heart, hand, and health. I pledge my head to clearer thinking, my heart to greater loyalty, my hands to larger service, and my health for better living for my club, my community, my country, and my world. And when we work with youth in 4-H, we try to ensure that we are creating an opportunity for youth to experience all of those 4-H's because they become the leaders of tomorrow. The Wisconsin Rural Leadership Program is a two-year intensive training program for folks who are already leaders who want to bump their leadership abilities and knowledge up to the next level. It's about building um, those leaders so that they can go back and strengthen their communities in Wisconsin. There are 11 seminars, um, eight in state, one national, a regional, and then an international experience, all with the idea of broadening someone's experience and knowledge about a whole range of issues. The model of education that we are looking at in this program and that we utilize is really sort of this network, this, this spider web of um, conversations that exist between the members in the group. They form a community of learners who engage one another, challenge one another, that exposes them to people and places that they wouldn't normally have the opportunity to connect with. And that's what pushes you a little bit out of your comfort zone to challenge you to, to grow and think about and broaden your worldview um, and, to, and maybe even to understand other people's worldview. Uh, and that makes you a better leader. The Wisconsin Geological and Natural History Survey was created by an act of the state legislature in 1897. Today we are a special missions unit of the Division of Cooperative Extension. The statutes really define our mission, uh, which is to study the geology, uh, water, and mineral, soil resources of the state. We serve a variety of customers from individuals who may call us with uh, uh, requests to know more about the water well and the property they're uh, living on or thinking of buying. Mostly we deal with uh, uh, other groups, uh, state agencies, for example, uh, the DNR, the Department of Transportation, Department of Ag and Consumer Protection, uh, all of the agencies that have some sort of water primarily related responsibilities. It's our charge to supply them with the best, most recent science available that addresses some of their uh, earth science needs. We also have a mandate to reach out more broadly to the average citizen who's simply interested in the geology and the landscapes of Wisconsin. The mission of UW Extension is about access. It is about tearing down the gates to our university, tearing down whatever walls that may exist, and basically saying to all 5.3 million citizens in this state that you can have at your fingertips the great University of Wisconsin. Extension is in the state of Wisconsin, I think, the glue that holds the state together.